Hello everybody, we are at Epcot today and it's a special day for two reasons. And the first is today we have hit 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much. And we'll talk a little bit about some of that in just a minute. But also our friends that are down here from Chicago, they've been in some of our previous videos here. They actually have their anniversary today. So kind of cool, a little celebratory day here at Epcot. So we're heading inside the park. No big agenda today, not too much going on, but we're just gonna hang out, do some celebrating. So come tag along with us in a probably pretty short video here at Epcot. I should point out the trams are still not running here today. Uh, the signs are up and I'm sure we'll see them soon. Oh, also out in the distance, it looks like we are getting a monorail, looks like blue there coming on in. The skies do look pretty okay right now. A little cloudy out that direction, but overall, not too bad. Today is September 18th, just so you know. It was a long night last night at Mickey's Not So Scary. That video should be out soon as well. Just a lot going on over the past weekend. We are a little tired, but we figured we had to come celebrate because we just hit 2K. Here is a quick look at some of the tickets, by the way. Looks like the most expensive is $129 for Magic Kingdom. Pricing doesn't look too horrible today. I think we were seeing it around like the 130s to 140s a little bit ago. So right now seems to be a pretty cheap time to come to the parks, at least kind of compared to some of the other options here. Nicole picked this up our celebration on 2k sub so this is a lot of fun we're gonna wear this around for a little bit today again it's really just gonna be kind of a hangout session today and maybe i'll give you some fun little facts about myself for nicole and we'll just kind of chat all right do we get a little love for 2k what song are we getting september we're getting congo, oh, we're getting congo. you know how many times we've gone congo probably 12 times i say like the past I ran. You know, I'm feeling I ran today. It's not I my top I favorite here, I but ran. I think we're gonna get I ran. You're gonna love this. Oh, this is crazy. Is anybody on the track? No, I don't think so. Everything's like moving though. All the stars are like moving out there. I don't think you can see. Oh, here we go. Well, we ended up finally getting September, and I feel like it's been a long time. I think we've only gotten September one time so far. I predicted I ran. I was like, you know what? I don't think we're gonna get Konga this time. We did get September, so we channeled the 2K subs. We channeled the month of September, and we did get September on that run, and we were in the back seat. Nicole's favorite spot is nine and 10, and we were in 10, so honestly, it like all came together. We got September, last row, really cool. Let me tell you a little thing about me again, just some information. So a fun little fact about me is I went to school at a small little college up in Illinois, and that is where I am from. I was actually born in Atlanta, Georgia, but I was very young and my family moved up to Illinois and that's pretty much where I spent pretty much my entire life. Until then, Nicole and I moved down here to Orlando last July. But again, I went to college at a small little university and my undergrad was business administration with a minor in computer information systems. And then I immediately went on to get my master's and I actually studied business analytics with an emphasis in operations management. And what I really wanted to do growing up and I guess in college was to work in like an analytical field in like the medical field. I wanted to do like research and kind of like take big data pertaining to, you know, maybe like cancer treatments or, you know, anything that pertained to like any sort of treatment, anything medical based and just be able to interpret it and then kind of make decisions and kind of hand that off to people and kind of make big decisions, I guess, on what you find. So that was what I really wanted to do. That is not what I am doing right now. And no, I am not a full-time YouTuber or anything like that. This is a hobby and it is fun and you know something that I do enjoy to do. But at the end of the day, that is where I thought I would end up. And uh, now I'm in a completely different field. But either way, just so you know, I have an undergrad and a master's degree. And uh, yeah, not totally in the fields that I studied. But I feel like that happens with a lot of people as they go into a field and they end up completely shifting from where they get their degree. I feel like there's a few degrees where you're really honed in and then some of them are a little bit more broad and I think mine were a little bit more broad. My obviously um, master's degree was a little bit more specialized than my undergrad, which was a lot more broad at that point. But either way, there you go. Same university, by the way. So I actually had like a alumni discount, which was kind of nice, but yeah, student loans 
they're here, they're around. Also, we have a nice, beautiful view out here over the lagoon, and we are very close to getting a new nighttime show. I actually heard just this morning they have postponed the show. However, because of the like the score, the actual music was not impactful enough. So we are a little delayed on the show that's going to be coming out here because they said they want to wait and make sure that it is like you know top notch, which I appreciate. You know, I know a lot of people might have had plans to come down here when it was going to open and now they're gonna have to wait a little bit longer but at the end of the day if Disney's going to take some time to make sure that it is you know top-notch and it doesn't kind of fall flat then I'm all for them postponing also it looks like they're coming along still out there at Communicore Hall and everything happening over there and we are actually very close to the Moana Journey to Water attraction we should be getting our AP preview of that I think next week so next week expect a video on the little Moana thing I know there's a lot of you know people out there that have done it already but if you guys want to see how we experience it and what our thoughts are on it uh, we will have that for you at some point in the coming week or two at this point also the ducks are playing having a good time also if you guys want to know a fun fact about Nicole I actually did not know how to properly use scissors until I was like 18 years old because I did not know left-handed scissors were a thing and they are a thing and they make a difference and there you go and that's because you're left-handed. I'm left-handed. So the more you know, so we have to buy specifically left-handed scissors. So there's a few small items that are typically right-handed and you have to buy left-handed specific things. So something interesting, there are left-handed things out there. And I always just thought they were all ambidextrous. As we are heading back to go get a nice bite to eat and a nice drink over actually in Brazil, another kind of interesting fact is Nicole had never been to Disney World until we moved down or to Orlando. Yeah, not Universal either. So we moved down here and she had never been to the parks before. I have been a ton. And yeah, so I think that's kind of interesting. It's I like- committed hardcore to hoping I'd like it. Yeah, I guess so, really. You know, and it's funny now, I feel like we're trying to plan trips to go to all of these theme parks. You know, we want to go up to Carowinds. We want to go to Dollywood, you know, love to go out to like Knott's Berry. She's been begging to go out to Disneyland. So I just think there's so many places now. It's kind of crazy. We moved down here and now there's a whole new side of Nicole that has sprung out. But, you know, for me, I have been, you know, a big theme park person from pretty much a young age. But now we both have this love for theme parks. She used to love theme parks. When she was younger, she had season tickets or an annual pass to Six Flags Great America, which was our park in Illinois. Where was that, Gurney? That was Gurney, and we had like Kitty Land up in the city, which was a, an adorable little amusement park for like tweens and kids. Yeah. I never went there, but I did go to Great America a few times, but she was a pass holder. She used to go all the Every time. Tuesday. Every Tuesday, yeah, you'd get dropped off, right? Yeah. And that was and their thing. To drop us off, another parent pick us up. Yeah, so kind of interesting. So she used to, and then kind of that fell to the wayside for a little while. And we have reignited her being down here in Orlando. So thank you, Orlando, for giving Nicole her passion back for theme parks. We have made it over here to Brazil, and we are actually going to pick up both items. So we're going to try the cheesy bread, and then we're going to try this little pork belly dish. Not too bad for pricing. We'll get two items for, what, $11.25? Not bad, I feel like. That's what I always expect, is to get those items for about $5. So I appreciate Brazil being a little bit more affordable than some of the other booths around here. Here we go. It's looking yummy. I think we get a stamp for these. We got a stamp for that one. For the cheesy bread? Yes. Okay. Because it's all the cheese. Yeah. Did we get a new one? I sure did. Okay. So the nice thing is you can actually uh, like combine them. If you bring them in, they'll kind of like put them all into one card. We sometimes forget it because we come so often. So um, we will have to make sure to bring them all back together once we have all the stamps to get the nice dessert. But we'll try this out, let you know what we think. But I'll give you another little fun fact about the channel. How much cheese is in there? It looks super like stringy. Well, it looks thick. Is that a lot of cheese? <laughs> it's good. I think I could use like a dipping sauce though. Maybe I'll like dip it in there. Yeah, like a marinara or something. <laughs> like oil. I'll have to try it out. Got a lot of cheese in there. It looks, I mean, that Maria looks right. like thick. That's a lot of cheese in there. Woo. So to me, that cheesy bread is a little too cheesy. It feels like you're biting into like, not like foam. I don't really know. It's very uh, just chewy. And the flavor is pretty good, but the density of that cheese kind of weirds me out a little bit. But let's talk a little bit about the YouTube channel. So we started this channel back in August, I believe, of last year. 
That was the very first video that we ever released. And going into the new year, this year, so basically December 31st of what, 22, going into January 1st of 23, we had a goal to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So the end of this year, that was the goal, is to try and hit 1,000 subscribers. And uh, I wrote it on a piece of paper, actually Nicole did, because she has way better handwriting, so I'll insert an image of our little list here. I'm gonna blur out some of the stuff because there's obviously personal things that we have on our little list there. But again, one of them was to make better quality content and then also hit 1,000 subscribers. So the fact that September 18th, 2023, and we are still a few months away, and we have hit 2,000 subscribers, that's pretty crazy to me. So a big shout out and thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel. And I guess, you know, if you wanna see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel on top of that. But either way, I mean, it is insane. We had no idea that we would be at this point, at this point in time. And um, I, I, I told Nicole, I said, I'm not going to expect to hit 1,000. It would be kind of a long shot, is what I was kind of saying. Like, you know, it's not gonna bum me out if we don't get there, but at least I'm gonna set that bar high. And we surpassed it, and then we blew by it and got to 2K. And to me, like, that's super cool to just see that we were able to grow this community and to see so much interest in the videos that we produce. And uh, I don't know, it's just been, it's been super, super cool. So again, thank you so much for all of that. But yeah, little interesting fact there on when we started a little over a year ago, and then what the plans were, I guess what we had hoped to maybe hit this year was 1000. And like I said, we are 2000 now, and we still have a few more months to go. And I don't even know what else to say. I mean, it's insane to me that we have gotten this far at this point. So again, it's all you guys, it's not me. So at the end of the day, again, thank you so, so much for all of that. We did pick up one of our favorite beers here at the Germany Pavilion, which is this prickly pear cider as a little, you know, celebration for the 2K, by the way. And we can hear the music out at the American Pavilion out there over the lagoon. And just a nice night. We also have a very small moon tonight. It's still that little crescent moon. We saw some stuff happening up on the ball. It's just a great night right now. It's been a very good Monday, weirdly enough. I'm also excited to announce that they got rid of the snickerdoodle and have brought back the gingerbread at the Werther's booth. The snickerdoodle wasn't bad, but it was super sweet, but the uh, gingerbread one was super, super good. Got a little sweet treat as well. I think that's gonna be it for the night as far as treats go, though. Another little fun fact about me is my due date for my birthday would have been on Christmas. I was supposed to be a Christmas baby, but my birthday is exactly a week early and that is December 18th. So if you're ever wondering what Dylan Thomas's birthday is, it's exactly seven days or one week before Christmas. And another fun fact about that, it's Steven Spielberg's birthday, December 18th. Well, I won't bore you with any more facts about myself. I will give you one more fact, kind of just something interesting that happened today. Over at Magic Kingdom, there was a bear found in the park and they had to shut down like half of the park because they needed to figure out what to do with it or kind of escort it off. Also, how do you do that? Do you just like shoo it away? Do you have to get like people that are like professionals there? Does Disney have people on property that can like handle bears? Do they call people from Animal Kingdom? Hey, need you to come like handle the situation. There's no bears in Animal Kingdom, I don't think though. Same with cows. There's no cows in Animal Kingdom. So either way, uh, I, I feel like that's pretty interesting, right? I feel like what a weird day today. September 18th, 2023 is one for the books. Hit 2K subs, my friend's anniversaries today. We had a bear in Animal Kingdom. Lots of fun, interesting things on this day. However, I do just want to say again, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting, engaging. It's the freest thing that you could do to help support the channel is literally just thumbsing the video up, watching the videos and like commenting or sharing them. I've, I've had people ask like, is there any you know way to donate or whatever? I don't have any of that right now. I don't want to do that right now. Just supporting me the best way possible is just watching and engaging with the content. Uh, I just love making videos. I enjoy being here at the theme parks and providing you guys with tips, tricks, or just entertainment. And that's what we love to do. So we're just gonna keep on doing it and hopefully you guys continue to tag along in this journey. But we're gonna get out of here. They are riding Mission Space. I'm sitting this one out and then we are heading home. It's been a long weekend. We need to take a little bit of a break. We need to kind of reset tomorrow after work. So we're getting out of here though. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.